Hello friends, in this Laravel chat application tutorial part. We will learn, how to send chat request to other user, under this WebSocket chat application. By using Ratchet WebSockets library, and vanilla JavaScript. In previous part, we have already learned, how to search user data. Under this Laravel chat application, by using WebSocket library. Now we want to send chat request to other user, so two user can chat with each other. So for this, we have goes into dashboard.blade.php file. And under this file, we have goes into javascript code part. And here, we have to make send request function with three argument like. element from user id into user id variable so this function we will use for send chat request to other user under this function we have to write data variable is equal to an array in array first key we have to write from user id and in value we have to write from user id variable in second key, we have to write to user id, and in value, we have to write to user id variable. And in last key, we have to write type and in value, we have to write request chat user. So here, we have store all required data under this data variable. Now first we want to disable chat request button, so here, we have to write element dot disabled property is equal to true so this code will disable chat request button now we want to send data to websocket controller so here we have to write connect variable dot send method and under this method we have to write json dot stringify function and under this we have to write data variable so it will send data to WebSocket controller in JSON string format. Now we have goes to socket controller.php file and under this file, we have goes into on message method. This method will receive data from WebSocket client and now we want to receive data. So here, JSON data will be stored under this data variable which we have already write. Now we want to check, chat request data has been received or not. So for this, here we have to write, if statement and under condition. We have to write, dollar data type variable is equal to, request chat user. So suppose, if this condition true, then it will execute, if block of code. Under this block, first we want to insert chat request data, under this chat request table. So for this, here we have to write, dollar chat request variable is equal to, new chat request model class. Here we have create, object of chat request model class. Now below this, here we have to write, dollar chat request, from user it table column is equal to. Dollar data from user id variable, so here we have to define, from user id table column data. After this, we have to write, dollar chat request, to user id table column is equal to. Dollar data to user id variable, so here, we have defined, to user id table column data. Next, we have to write, dollar chat request status table column name, is equal to pending. So here, we have defined status, table column value, so here we have defined chat request table, all column value. Now we want to save data, under chat request table. So here, we have to write, dollar chat request variable, with save method, so it will save data, under chat request table. So after save, chat request data, under mysql chat request table, now we want to send response to, login user. So for this, here we have to write, dollar sender connection id variable is equal to user class, with select method, and under this method, we have to write user table column name, connection id, and after this, we have to write where method, with two argument, so in first argument, we have to write user table column name id, and in second argument, we have to write dollar data from user id variable and after this we have to write get method 
So this code will make select query for page, login user connection, and it will execute that query. And return query execution result in array format, which is stored under dollar sender connection id variable. Now we want to send data to login user id, so here, we have to write, for each loop. And under condition, we have to write, dollar this client's variable, as dollar client variable. Under this loop, we want to match connection id, with login user connection id. So here, we have to write, if statement and under condition. We have to write, dollar client resource id variable value is equal to. Value of dollar sender connection id variable, with zero index, with connection id, table column value. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code, and it will send response to login user. Under this block, we have to write, dollar send data, response from user chat request variable is equal to true. Now we want to send this data, to login user, so here, we have to write, dollar client variable, with send method, and under this method. We have to write, json encode function, and under this function, we have to write, dollar send data variable, so it will send data to login user, in json format. After this, we have goes to, dashboard.blade.php file. And under this file, we have goes to, on method function. And here, we have to write, if statement, and under condition. We have to write, data dot response from user chat request, so if this condition true, then it will execute, if block of code. And under this block, we want to display remaining user data, to whom we have not sent, chat request. So for this, here we have called search user function, with two argument. In first argument, we have to write login user id, so here we have to write, from user id variable. And in second A argument, we have to write, search query, so for this, here we have to write, document.getElementById method, and under this, we have to write, search text box id search people. And after this, we have to write, value, so it will return search text box value. So this function will return, search query user, after send chat request. And this function, we have already made, in our previous part, so if you have not seen that part, so first watch it. Now we have goes, into the search user response code, and here we have goes, to chat request button code. And here, we have to write, on click attribute is equal to, send request function, with three argument. In first argument, we have to write, this, which will return, chat request button property. In second argument, we have to define login user id, so here we have to write, from user id variable. And in third argument, we have to write, particular user id, so here we have to write, data dot data count index dot id. So when we have click, on the send request button, then it will send, chat request, to particular user. Now we have to check output in the browser, so we have goes to command prompt. And first we have to stop this server, and we have to again, restart service by run this command. Now here in the browser, we can see, chat application dashboard, now we have to refresh web page. Now here, we have to type in search text box, and after type, we can see filter data. Now we want to send chat request to this user, so we have to click, on this chat request button. And after click on the chat request button, here we can see that, chat request has been sent to this user. Now here in chat request table, we can see that, chat request data has been inserted. But after chat request has been sent, we have to remove this user, from user list. So for this, we have goes to, socket controller class file. And here, we have goes into, this request search user, if block of code. And under this, we have goes into code, where, we have fetch user data. And at this time, we want to check, particular user id, found under chat request table or not. So for this, here we have to write, dollar chat request variable is equal to. 
chat request model class with select method and under this method we have to write it table column name after this we have to write where method and under condition we have to write callback function with dollar query variable as argument and after this we have to write use function with dollar data variable and dollar row variable as argument this function will be used when we have to define multiple where condition under this function we have to write dollar query variable with where method with two argument in first argument we have to write from user it table column name and in second a argument we have to write dollar data from use it variable after this we have again write where method with two argument in first argument we have to write to user it table column and in second argument we have to write dollar row it table column name next we have to write or where method and under this method we have to write callback function with dollar query variable as a argument and after this we have to write use function with dollar data variable and dollar row variable as a argument under this function we have to write dollar query variable with where method with two a argument in first argument we have to write from user it table column and in second argument we have to write dollar row it table column name after this we have to write where method with two argument in first argument we have to write to user it table column name and in second a argument we have to write dollar data from user it variable and lastly we have to write get method so this code will make this type of select query and it will execute this query and return query execution result under this dollar chat request variable after this we have to write if statement and under condition we have to write dollar chat request variable with count method return value is equal to 0 suppose this condition true that means login user id and chat request receiver user id data not found under this chat request table and under this block of code we have put this code so it will store only that user data which it is not found under chat request table so here our code is ready now we have goes to command prompt and here we have to first stop web socket service and again restart this service by run this command now here in the browser we have to refresh web page and after refresh of web page we can see chat application dashboard page now we have start type in search text box and here we can see filter user data now we want to send chat request to this user so we have click on this chat request button and after click on chat request button here we can see that chat request receiver user has been removed from this list and it has display remaining user data under user list so in next part we will show you when we have click on chat request button then that user will be removed from this list and chat request details will be seen under notification area So in this part we have learned how to send chat request to other user under this chat application by using ratchet websocket library and in next part we will show you how to display notification data or other this notification area so we will be meet in next part